Here's a daily. What is this? It's God's word. Pass it along. Should I pass it along? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! A Bible! Yeah. It's that's... a relay race to pass on God's word. Cool. <gasps> wow, those kids are fast. They are. That's just like in our lesson today. Before Jesus ascended back into heaven, he told his disciples to go and make more disciples of all nations. Oh. And we're going to learn that today as we read our Bible story. Okay. Play a game. Fun. I hear we're having a snack. Yeah. And we are going to have so much fun. But first, we're going to start with worship. So everybody's Stand up to your feet and let's get ready to praise God now. now. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to today's Focus Up Moment. This is where we take time out of our service to focus on God through singing worship. And I know you all have great voices and so I'm excited to sing this song with you today called Who You Say I Am. It talks about being a child of God. And so really sing it out and connect to God's heart here. And uh, if you need to go to a different part of the room or lower the lights a little bit, you can do that now in this time so we can focus up. Okay, let's sing together. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me into his love for me. Oh, his love. I am chosen, not forsaken. 
chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Ooh, the sun sets free. Oh, it's free in me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. There's a place for me I'm a child of God Yes, I am Great job singing together, everybody. That's all for now for this Focus Up moment, but we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Tiffany, and welcome to Game Time. Today, we're gonna play Simon Says, and my sisters are here to play too. Yeah, and I'm Zay, and I'm Kyla. So if I say Simon Says, then you do what I say, and if I don't, don't do it. If you miss a command, then take a seat. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, touch your nose. Simon Says, touch your knees. Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, touch your hips. Touch your ears. If you touched your ears, Simon didn't say, so sit down. Should we keep going? Yeah. Okay. Simon says, touch your knees. Simon says, touch your elbows. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, Touch your hair. <laughs> Touch your toes. Ah! Okay, sit down. Okay, now we're gonna go a little bit faster. Are you ready? Simon says, to your shoes. Simon says, touch your elbows. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your eyes. Simon says, touch your knees. Touch your ears. Simon says, touch your eyes. Simon says, touch your head. Touch your toes. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, touch your knees. Touch your shoulders. Did I get anybody? We're gonna play one more super speedy round. Here we go. Simon says, touch your elbows. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your eyes. Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your knees. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, touch your knees. Simon says, touch your toes. Touch your elbows. Ah, I got you. <laughs> That was fun. Thank you guys so much for playing with us. Yeah, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello, it's Pastor Mike here. Welcome to Unboxing the Bible. We're gonna unbox God's Word and that's way better than opening any present you could ever receive because we're opening God's Word to us. So today's word is W-I-T-N-E-S-S. Witness. Today's word comes from the Bible verse, Acts 1-8, which says, you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere. Now, say it with me. Acts 1-8, you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere. Well, thanks for unboxing the Bible with me today. Up next is a lesson, so stay tuned. Bye-bye. And welcome to today's Bible story. We are in the book of Acts. I'm gonna flip there right now. And we are in Acts chapter one. We are beginning a brand new book. I wanted to recap for you guys all the things that we've been learning the last few months. We have seen Jesus being born as a little baby. We have seen him grow up and live and do ministry and perform miracles and make disciples. And then we saw Jesus facing his arrest and the crucifixion and dying on the cross, but then rising again and coming back to life. And when he did that, remember he appeared to his disciples to prove that it was true. And remember that Thomas touched the holes in Jesus' hands to feel that he was real. 
Well, now we're in the point of the story where Jesus is going to return back to God in heaven. But before he goes, Jesus leaves a message for his disciples and for me and you. Do you guys know what a disciple is? A disciple is a student, like a student at school. So we're like in the school of Jesus, learning all about him and all about God's word and what it says about him and us and how we should live our life. Well, Jesus left a mission for his disciples. Do you know what a mission is? It's like when you're sent on a special task to do something important. And our special task that is so important is to share the good news with others. When we come to church or when we open up our Bible or even pray, we are connecting with the Lord and we're hearing from Him and we're learning and we're growing in our faith. And we shouldn't keep it to ourselves. We should share it. If you found the very best cookie in the whole wide world, would you not tell anyone about it? No, you would want to be like, oh my goodness, have you ever tried this cookie? It's the best cookie I've ever had. You got to go get one. That's what it should be like with Jesus. We should be telling everybody, oh, have you seen and tasted that the Lord is good? He's so faithful. He's so loving. He's so kind. He's so forgiving. You have to know about him. And how can we tell people about Jesus? Well, it's just simple. You just share the truth. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to know everything about the Bible to be able to tell someone that Jesus loves them. And so Jesus left a message for his disciples to spread the news, not just where they were, but through the ends of the earth. Imagine if I went all over the earth sharing the gospel. Actually, that'd be kind of fun, right? Well, but that's the message that Jesus gave to them and to us today. No matter where we are, where we go, what time of day it is, we can share the good news. And Jesus also told his disciples that they will receive power from the Holy Spirit. So after Jesus was going to go back into heaven, he wasn't going to leave them alone. He left them with the Holy Spirit, the helper, who would live in their hearts, who would help them to know what to say to people, who would give them courage to share the gospel, who would guide them in the right direction. And when you believe in Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you to help guide you and help you live a life that's pleasing to God. Isn't that cool? Well, at the end of the story, we see Jesus ascends into heaven, and then the disciples are staring like this. What just happened? And then two men in white robes appeared, and they said, Men of Galilee, why are you staring into heaven? And they said, Just as you've seen Jesus go up into heaven, you will see him come back down, leaving us with a promise that Jesus will be back again. Even more of a reason to go and share the gospel. We want people to hear about Jesus before he returns so that they are ready for him. All right, guys. Well, this was so fun. I left going through the first book of Acts with you, and I can't wait to see what else we unfold in the coming weeks. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> hey, guys. Jackie here, and welcome to... Snacky time! Today we have a very fast but very delicious snack. We're making peppermint hot chocolate! Yum! Okay, you might even have all of these things sitting in your house right now. But if not, not to worry. You can get this all at the grocery store. So I have a warm cup of water in front of me. And I have some hot cocoa packets. So I'm going to take a hot cocoa packet and mix it into the warm water. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is something super special. I have these peppermint bark chocolate squares. I'm gonna add that to the hot chocolate to make it extra delicious. Let that melt. And now I'm gonna top it with some whipped cream. A lot of whipped cream. I'm gonna open up a candy cane and put that in it. That can be your stir and a fun little sweet treat. And add some sprinkles to the top. 
And there you go, we have a peppermint hot chocolate. I forgot to mention, I also have peppermint whipped cream. If you just wanna go over the top of it. But if you just like regular whipped cream, that will work too. You'll get a lot of flavor of mint from the peppermint candy cane and from the peppermint chocolate bark inside your hot cocoa. <gasps> well, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Mr. Yeah. Mike, it's your turn. Awesome. Well, it's our goal to take the word that's been given to us in God's word and share it with all of you. So now we're going to take a look at a couple clips throughout the year that we remember that were fun and helped us share God's word with you. So let's check that out now. Mr. Mike's real name is not Steve. Good job, Mike. Not Steve. I'm glad. I'm glad. And this is in no way meant to be offensive to anyone out there named Steve. It's a great name. But I don't look like you. <laughs> uh, wow, that's quite a get up you have, Mike. Hey, have you seen my donkey? Where's Mike? He is real. Hey! <sighs> okay. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Hey, Jackie, you ready for today's <gasps> lesson on baptism? Oh, I'm so sorry. You scared me. Whoa. Do you remember those? I think my favorite was when I spilled water all over you. Oh, man. That was not special effects. That was real. <laughs> Well, we've had a great time with you here today on Harvest Kids. If you would like to see more services like this, you can follow us on Instagram and YouTube at Harvest Kids Live, and we can't wait to see you again. So take God's word and share it with others just like we've shared it with you. Bye.